Hello everyone, welcome back. So, you may have seen, I think yesterday, I uploaded a quest system video. And so, yeah, um, maybe wondering how to do that. I said tutorials coming soon, and I am a man of my word. So, today's video is all about how to make a simple quest system. So, in order to do this, we're going to need, um, it's basically used by scoreboards. So, scoreboards are the reason why you can talk, it can detect if you talk to a villager, and if you can detect if you broke or killed something. So, for this video, just for the sake of this video, I'm just going to make the quest, um, gather four hay bales. So, um, this remind, this is in, uh, vanilla 1. vanilla 1.16.1. And, um, this is just a very basic version. There are still a lot of bugs. I probably, if I work out some kinks, I'll make it, I'll make another video, um, about a updated version later. But for now, this is the best I have. So, first we're going to have to make a villager. I just disabled his art uh, AI so that, um, he doesn't move around. Um, Farmer Dude is his name, just something special. Over here is the commands, and as always, the commands are in the description below. Um, all the commands you need, so that you can just copy and paste them and paste them right into your world. Um, but first, or not, not first, we're going to make a scoreboard objective. So this scoreboard objective is going to be the NPC talk. So, it's basically, um, score, slash scoreboard objectives add NPC talk. And NPC talk is just the name, so that means it doesn't have any effect on actual um, gameplay mechanics. So this is, I just call it this because I, it's easy to remember. So yes, so now when you hit space, it gives you a list of all the things you can do with command box. So this is, this is amazing to me. You can, it can detect so many things. So. For this, this is going to be the NPC talk. We're going to do Minecraft dot custom colon Minecraft dot talked to villager. Yeah. So you just create a new scoreboard objective. And so for this, I you don't have to do this. I'm going to make it so that you can see. I can do score objectives, set display, sidebar, and PC talk. So, when I click on the villager, it increases my score by one. Just like that. So this can lead to a bunch of possibilities. Including a quest system, like I'm going to show you today. So, one sec, let me just reset my um, NPC talk command. And so, the first thing we're going to have to do is create a repeating command block. And then, inside, we're going to type execute if entity, and then different attribute. you can have different attributes, at A is all players, at E is all players and mobs, at P is nearest player, at R is random player, and at S is current entity. So, for the sake of this video, I'm just going to do at P. And then brackets, score, scores, equals curly bracket, um, NPC talk, this can change depending on what you name your, um, talk to villager objective, and so NPC talk equals one. Oh, and then you make curly bracket, regular bracket, make it always active so it keeps testing, and then put a little comparator. So, what this will do, let's just put in a slash say command, hello to just to see if it works and so it will say hello when we ever whenever we talk to the person so why let's just reset my score so um you can make this as long as you want any like talking lines um we can make it like telra so telra at p um uh text whatever that's called, colon text, um, get me four hay bales, and then like that. So, whenever we talk to him, 
just, he will say. Give me four hay bales. So, yeah. So let's reset my score real quick. Um, it's recommended that you put them in rooms. So if we build a little room for him, so and then have pressure plates coming in, it will set his score to a certain score, which will trigger. I will show you that later, but yes. So give me four hay bales. So now it's time for the actual hay bale quest. So we're going to do another scoreboard command. Scoreboard. Objectives. And I'm going to call it hay quest. It depends, all depends on what you want to do for your quest. And then I'm going to go down to Minecraft. Dot, dot mind. Colon Minecraft. Minecraft. Dot hay block. So now uh, we have a hay quest command. So what we want to do in order to make it so that if we just go over here without talking to him and mining all these blocks, so we want to make it so that the player physically can't uh, succeed the quest without talking to him. So what we want to do, we can just make this pretty simple, scoreboard, players, set, at p, hey quest, negative, or, or, just a big number, a really big number, so big that they, you will never ever get that many hay blocks. So, let me go and build a room for him, and give make some finishing touches and I'll see you then okay so I have been doing um, some work on this this is a very basic example of what it can be like but sometimes it gets pretty big so what we have here is um, basically this is the accept command and this is the decline command and I'll explain everything else later this is the quest detection to see if the quest is complete and this is the um, after the aftermath. So um, let's just test it out, and then I'll explain everything in a sec. Okay, hello, farmer dude. Give me four hay bales. Do you accept? And then you can click yes or no. Ah oh, man, if if you hit no, he says ah oh, man, and then click on again. Give me four hay bales. You can let's just accept it. Let me go over here. No, no pig. No, I guess you're getting out then. Oh wait, I have to be in survival. I'm sorry. Okay, so and then, like just like that, quest accepted. So if we go back over to Farmer Dude, click on them. He takes our four hay bales, and yeah. So this is a very basic example of what. It can be like, but um, some examples on the Up and Coming project um, are pretty big. Uh, yeah, I will, I will, I will tell you about that big project once it's um, almost ready. So let's just see how this worked. So basically, oh, okay, I guess I gotta fix that. So what happened was when I walked in. So this is a it whenever you go in it says or go in or go out it sets the objective or your npc talk to 10 that means that you can't talk you can't get the farmer dude's lines anywhere else whenever you talk to another npc out here so when we walk in it gives us 10 but then when we walk in here it gives us zero and this is this is um, needed because this detects for one so when we it gives us zero which means that when we click on him it sets to one it sets our score to one this command block detects it and then it runs these three commands this command says, give me four hay bales. This one says, do you accept? And it's a title in the action bar. And then this one up here is kind of complicated. So this was the, this is the yes or no, and whether you can click on it or not.
or click yes or no. So what I do most of the time with this stuff is when you hit no, it sets a block on this command on this block right here. And then there's command block under it, which is powered by that redstone block that sets it to air, but then also powers this. So it's just, it says the ah man, and then it sets your score back to zero. This is needed because if you hit ah man, like if we disable this real quick, like that, we go in here, and then we just decline it. it says ah man, and then yeah, it will it will keep setting itself, or it will keep increasing your score until it gets to a dialogue it's not supposed to get to. So that's why we need to have that reset. You could also change this to a totally different totally different one for the ready to get there that says like ready to get that hay bale for me or anything. So like so like that. Um make sure yeah. So and then if you hit yes of course it says good choice and then it sets the hay quest to zero. And that means that you are able to actually finish the quest, you break the four hay bales. And then when it says quest accepted, when hay quest equals four, it does the title, quest accepted. And then it, it sets the NPC talk to four. So this means that on NPC talk, when you click on him once, it will send you to NPC talk five which then, this will detect it, which will run these two commands. This command says, thank you, good sir. And then this command says, uh, clear at P commit, uh, four hay bales. There, this is still a very buggy system, but I'm playing on um, trying to improve it later. Um, yes, so let's just do a quick example of a are you ready to get that stuff for me? So, make it execute. Execute if entity at p score, and then we'll make the score the score for talk, or NPC talk talk to let's just say like seven, which means that we're going, we need to make it always active, which means that we're going to have to set this one to, this one, to six, so that it's not, it doesn't detect this yet, but whenever, when we talk to him again, it will detect, it will set it up to seven, which will run this dialogue. So, uh, not that, and then we can make a simple tell raw, like here. Let's just take this one for now. It'll be like ready for the hay bales. And then we can make it run the what's it called? That. We'll make it so that it runs this too. And then if it declines, it'll be like ready to get that hay bale. So, if we try this again, hello, three, four hay bales, no. Then we click on them again, ready to get, ready to get those hay bales, and then we can say no, I'm in, ready to get those hay bales, and it, it'll keep repeating that until you say yes. So, then we get the hay bales, and that's pretty much it. Um... Like I said, um, I can give you a uh, complex, more complex example actually right now, but this is a very basic um, type of uh, quest system, and you can add multiple, just make sure that there aren't two objectives like this, um, two objectives that have the same, um, that, that have the same score, because that would mess everything up and be pretty weird. So um, with that, this wraps up the quest system, but before we end the video, let me show you a more complex example of this. Okay, so I just tore up this piece of ground, and the um, 
little project I'm working on. So this is um, the Jacob the Miner. Um, this is the Jacob the Miner quest where he asks you to get five coal. This is the this is like a complex version. So um, usually I have signs telling you what part is what, but for this one I don't think I do. Um, yeah, so it's way less complicated than it looks. It just takes a little bit. So um, basically that's just something from a, like the first time I was trying this. So this is here. Let's give you some context. So right here, when you go into the Obsidian Caverns entrance, right under here is a command. And just like uh, the command we did, it sets the talk to Jacob to two. So I was stupid when I made this, and I made it, I thought that I had to do different scoreboard objectives. I had to have different scoreboard objectives for each one. So I made the first one talk to Jacob, so that means that talk to Jacob is the NPC talk variable for this world, which kind of sucks, but I mean, it's way too hard to switch it back now. So learn from my mistakes, don't do that. So, we go in here, right, and then we, we get our score set to 2, which will then set the orig the first the first line of dialogue. So this is 3. So like always, it sets it to 2 so that when you click it, it'll set it'll go to 3, which then sets this off, which will detect this, and it will play this all of this dialogue and with different play sounds and all that. And then I, we have the yes or no over here. So I believe this is the yes and this is the no. So um, at the end of these, it should say scoreboard objective, scoreboard players set 14. So that means that probably somewhere over here, yep, scoreboard objectives. So this sets it to scoreboard 14 which means that when you click it, it'll set to 15, which sets off this command block, which will then say, ready to get that call for me, and then it'll repeat the what do you say thing. So, yeah, that's the no, that's the no command. But if you go over here, it's kind of laggy because we're running on a um, server so that multiple people can use this at the same time. So, if we set the scoreboard, that sets the scoreboard objective Jacob Quest to zero, like in the other one. Um, that's the Scratch Miner's pickaxe. And there it is. The scoreboard player is set 19, which means that over here will initiate the 20, which is... I need... got that coal yet? I need it in time for supper. So, yeah. And then you have the special thanks over here but yeah that's basically it so yes this is um one of the more um complicated ones but it's it's pretty um simple it looks kind of intimidating but command blocks are pretty easy to do if you like know how to do it i've been doing them for a while so it's kind of like um it's kind of just natural to me but um, it's always good to learn, and so I'll be hopefully creating a, a command block, like, class, kind of. I like to call it a command block class on how to do basic things in, um, basic to difficult things in Minecraft, along with showing you what this is soon. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope you did enjoy. If you did, thank you, or, uh, please leave a like, and... That's all for me. See you later.